Hello everyone and welcome to Memory Flow where we discuss fragrance and fragrance collecting and today I want to talk to you about a fragrance that was launched in 2009 by the House of Amouage which is Epic Man. Now Epic Man was launched as part of the duo of fragrances the way Amouage launches their uh, fragrance pairs um, under the creative direction of Christopher Chong and the nose for this particular fragrance is the perfumer uh, Randa Hamani. Now, Amouage launched Epic Man and Epic Woman in 2009 and um, this was immediately after 2008's uh, Jubilation 25 uh, celebratory fragrance. And this is not extremely different in terms of uh, composition and feeling of Jubilation 25, uh, the male, uh, male variant. So, the inspiration uh, for uh, Amouage Epic was two things. So, first and foremost, this is a fragrance that uh, was inspired by the Silk Road, the trade route, the ancient trade route, which was used to carry precious materials such as jade and gold and frankincense and then such. Because um, when you look at the bottle, this gorgeous green bottle, um, this was inspired by the green jade, uh, which was carried by the Silk Road. And some people say that the Silk Road would have been more aptly named the Jade Road because they really did uh, carry much uh, nephrite jade. So, of course, the, the golden cap, which is in uh, the traditional form of the Amouage uh, uh, Kanjar, the, the dagger uh, male bottles, um, uh, the golden color is meant to symbolize wealth, it's meant to contrast the beautiful green fragrance to complement it, uh, basically. And it also has the beautiful uh, jade-colored uh, crystal uh, on top there, which I think is just gorgeous on this uh, particular um, Epic Man bottle. Now, the second inspiration for uh, Amouage Epic was uh, Puccini's opera Turando, which tells the epic tale and uh, let's put it, uh, let's put it, to put it mildly, the complicated uh, love story of China's princess Turando. And uh, I suppose this is where Epic gets its name from, from that, uh, from that epic, epic telling. Now, the notes of this fragrance are, and I took them from the Amouage uh, official website, and they are pepper, cumin, cardamom, saffron, nutmeg, mace, and myrtle in the opening with a heart of geranium and myrrh and a base, of a, a very a quite heavy base of oud, sandalwood, patchouli, leather, frankincense, cedarwood, musk and castoreum. The fragrance itself has a few aspects to it and the aspects are so this is a green, spicy, floral fragrance. And when I say floral, I of course, uh, this is not truly a floral fragrance, but I have to call it floral because this has geranium. Now, geranium is quite a beautiful um, fragrance. Note that it's not for, uh, for um, everyone because um, it has a rosy aspect to it and also a bitter green um, face which is, is definitely not for, for everyone but uh, when it's um, 
blended with these spices and the spices are cardamom and nutmeg and myrrh uh, sorry um, mace um, it gets um, it gets quite fresh and quite interesting and remarkable so I really like the geranium aspect of this fragrance the second aspect this fragrance has is this is a very good oud fragrance. Um, it's a combination of oud and saffron. And if you know this combination, it, it can get quite medicinal. And Epic Man is that type of fragrance that can go rather medicinal. But I kind of like it because I find it works well with the spices and the whole blend. Now, the final and what actually makes this fragrance is a leather accord and this particular leather accord is um, it's castorium first of all and this makes it a very animalic leather and this is quite interesting as far as uh, leather fragrances go so um, What's special about, about Epic Man in general? This is a spicy, leather, woody fragrance that's fairly unique in its composition. So you won't find many fragrances that, are, that resemble it in its, uh, in its composition. The leather accord uh, Epic Man has is quite, uh, it's quite beautiful. It's animalic and uh, it's also... So, when we when we look at the notes this this has uh, quite a quite a powerful base as i as i said but this is not an overpowering scent so the leather in uh, epic man is there it's animalic but it's not overtly leather this is more uh spicy animalic and it's quite fresh so it's quite easy to wear and um it also has a relaxing feel to it, uh, which you can imagine because um, it's it's done so well with the resins and the, the incense. Um, although granted, as I've said before, Epic Man is definitely not for uh, for everybody. So do do test this before you buy because this is uh, uh, it can tend to. Uh, not be uh, to everyone's taste. I especially like this fragrance for its uh, use of the geranium uh, flower, which is a more leafy scent than a floral scent, but it does have that floral rosy aspect which goes so well with the spices. So, as I've said, geranium is not for everyone. It smell one you, you might find uh, the geranium smell rather pungent um, and, and sweet because it's a sweet, bittersweet uh, green fragrance, a green scent. But I find that the way it's blended makes it quite enjoyable and quite, um, quite to my liking because it's fairly interesting and it makes Epic Man a truly remarkable masculine fragrance. Now... In terms of evolution, um, Epic Man evolves quite nicely on the skin. So it opens up with um, green, spicy, geranium florals. Then um, it tends to go bal uh, quite balsamic and aromatic. It, it, it turns into a woody fragrance that um, nevertheless is spicy and leathery and um, quite surprisingly fresh for uh, and quite soapy it, it it can also go soapy uh, towards the end there and it dries down into a musky very pleasant leather fragrance but the masculine aspect is quite nice it's clean it's it, as i've said it can go soapy now in terms of um, of performance i get quite quite decent performance out of uh, epic man 
which can go anywhere around uh, 8 to 10 hours. So Epic Man is uh, rather close to the skin scent, it's not loud and um, I find that this is great because uh, you can be sure that you will not bother anyone with, uh, with your scent. I think this makes it, but you will get noticed. You will get noticed because the scent itself is quite interesting, it, it, it is remarkable. It will get noticed as a clean scent, as not something that will, you know, scream oody uh, pungency to, to people around you. And I think this makes it quite um, appropriate for uh, environments where you have uh, people um, close to you most of the time. In terms of price and availability, uh, Epic Man is still in production. Um, it's quite readily available in stores um, and it costs uh, around 300 euros. But you can find it discounted online rather easily um, with... Um, I think prices starting from 130 euros uh, or closer to that uh, to that uh, price range, which I think is a rather decent price to pay for this fragrance, which again I find very remarkable and quite unique, and it's a it's it's a very pleasant blend of spices and leather. It's it, it's very complex. It's very versatile. It has so many aspects that can please a lot of noses. So if you're looking for a spicy scent, there you go. If you're looking for an oud scent, this is quite a good oud scent. Um, if you're looking for uh, a leather scent, and then Epic Man is a very good choice. And overall, if you're looking for a resinous, balsamic, makes you feel good scent, then there you have it. So, as you see, um, Epic Man tends to, to cater to most tastes, and uh, for me, I find it has a very special, special place in my collection. Um, because I usually wear it in the winter, in the um, more to uh, when the weather gets rather cool, um, it's a perfect autumn spring scent um, because I find that although it's a fresh scent, it's a, it's a fresher scent, not a fresh scent, um, in the summer it can get a bit too animalic even for my taste. So there you have it. This is my review of uh, Amouage's Epic Man. I hope you found it useful. Do comment uh, your opinion on Epic Man, on Amouage fragrances in general, and let's get a discussion uh, going in, uh, in the comment section. Do subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content, and until next time, remember, wear what you love and not what they tell you to wear.